Hello everyone and welcome to this month's episode of What's for Dinner. Today I will be making a one skillet chicken pot pie featuring everyone's favorite, the cast iron skillet. Let's get cooking. <laughs> since I've had this thing on the show, I managed to get one of these uh, rubber uh, holders so that it's easier for me to move it around when it's on the stove. So I'm excited to be working with this today. So we're going to set that here. To start off, we're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. And then we're going to get some chicken. I have about a pound and a half of chicken breasts right here. We're going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil into our pot, into our uh, cast iron right here. Get that turned on and pretty much we're gonna cook this chicken till it's brown on both sides, cooked all the way through, and then we'll remove it to add in the rest of the ingredients for the pot pie. So we're gonna throw the chicken into the cast iron and then we're gonna season it with some salt and pepper as we cook it. All right, the oil is spurting out nicely. Let's go ahead and put this chicken in here. I really hope that I don't run out of room in this skillet, because that would not be a good thing. Get our tongs here. Let's get some salt and pepper in here. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. It's not bad, not bad. All right, so I'm gonna let this chicken cook through. Once it's done, as I said, we're gonna remove it from the pan, set it off to the side, and move on to the next step, which is adding in half of a white onion and some garlic. All right, this chicken is done. It's smelling mighty good, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the pan. We're going to set it off to the side here. I'm, I'm growing a little concerned that this pot, or pan I should say, is going to be too small for the amount of food that this hot pie calls for, but I guess we'll wait and see. Alright, so once I've removed this, I'm going to add in a half of a white onion, which is sitting over there. I'm also going to add in two cloves of minced garlic, which is about a teaspoon of that jar right there. I don't want to have this setting for too long, so we're going to go and boom right away with the onion. And let's get some garlic in here. You want to cook these until the onions are translucent. Okay, once you have cooked the onions until translucent, which given the high heat that this skillet is already at, should not be that long, and they're already starting to brown up nicely, you're going to add in one Yukon Gold potato that you cubed. Now, I'm not getting a real translucent feel. It's more like they're just turning brown, which is not a bad thing. So I just took a hold of the handle over here, and even with this rubber grip, the handle is hot. Okay, I'm about ready to put these potatoes in. All right, because some of these onions are starting to stick to the bottom of the pan. So let's put these potatoes in. This is saute for about five minutes. So once the potato has been sauteed, you're then gonna add in two cups of frozen peas and carrots. So I think what we'll do is we'll come back when it's time for the peas and carrots. Okay, it's not been exactly five minutes, but I'm getting concerned because these onions are starting to burn. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the next bit, which are the frozen peas and carrots. I think this is a uh, two cups right here. So we're just gonna just dump it all in. Okay, once we've incorporated the peas and carrots, we're gonna add in four tablespoons of butter, which is that half a stick right there. And then we're going to sprinkle four tablespoons of flour over the top to make this kind of sauce that's going to thicken. And as I expected, a lot of this stuff is starting to pour over the side. The recipe doesn't exactly say when to put the butter in, but I think once the peas and carrots look like they have thawed out and are cooking, along with the rest of the contents of the pan, is when you can put the butter in. Four tablespoons, we're just going to stick this whole stick in like this. Okay. 
boom. Then allow the butter to melt, which might take a while, especially if you put it in the way that I did. And then once the butter is melted, that's when you're going to put the four tablespoons of flour over the top. And you want to make sure you mix it in quickly to avoid lumps forming. All right, just a little bit of butter is left to melt. And next we add the flour. All right, I'm going to cover everything. Stir that in quick. And then once the flour is stirred in, you're going to add in two cups of chicken broth that's going to create a sauce. And then you eventually, well, you want to let that sauce, Jeepers, everything's falling out of here. You want to let that sauce come to a boil. All right, flour is incorporated. Not seeing any big lumps. All right, let's add in our broth. Basically, you're going to boil this until the sauce begins to thicken. Once it's thick, you're going to remove it from the heat. You're going to put the chicken back in. And then comes the fun part of putting the crust over top. We'll get to that next. Okay, I decided to move over here to better show you the process of putting on the dough top. First, we have to put the chicken back in. So we're going to go just gently. It's all the chicken. Gotta mix this in. This this skillet is extremely hot. I can't even lift this. Even with this rubber coating on, I cannot lift this without an oven mitt. It is still very, very hot. Alright, all the chicken is in. Okay, now, <laughs> now we have to put this dough over top of it. So I have this is a prepared pie crust. We need to put this over top. And then somehow, without burning myself, pinch the corners of it around the edges of the skillet. Hmm, this, this might be fun. All right, so we're gonna lay this over top, like so. And then it says to pinch it around the edges. They got a little bit of a, some coming out the edge here. too much on that one side. I'm going to move it over. All right, well, one of these edges is going to have more dough than the other. Pinching it around the edge. All right, that is about as good as it's going to get. Okay, now I need a knife. Got to cut three slits in the center here for venting purposes. So there's one. There's two. Three. Okay, then the last thing you're going to do is I have one egg that's been beaten, and we're going to brush the top of this with some egg. And once you've brushed the top of this with your beaten egg, it goes into the oven at 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. All right, now, how do I get this over there? Okay, let's do this. Let's open the oven first. Get my other oven mitt. I'm gonna take off this thing, because I don't want that going in the oven. All right. All right, we will see you in half an hour. All right, it's been about 25 minutes or so. I just looked at it in the oven, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out. And then, oh, this looks so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Let's set it right here. That's off. Now we eat it. Um, let me get a spoon. Crust 
Ooh, that crust. Here, I'll take a piece right here. I've never really made chicken pot pie in this way. But, oh my goodness, this looks so good. Oh, yes. Oh, that is beautiful. So, I mean, that's it. It's pretty good. I really don't want to scold my mouth. But I really, really, really want to try this. It looks so good. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. I definitely want some of the, the pie part. All right, here we go. Paint the, the pie crust is flaky. It has a bit of a smoky taste to it. Well, thank you all for watching this episode of What's for Dinner. If you have any recipes that you want me to make on camera, leave them below in comments and I'll check them out. I've also created a Google form that allows you to submit recipes for future consideration on the show. You can find that in the description below. Thanks again for watching. God bless and I'll see you all next time. I got a lot of chicken in this one too.